So as we know, Amber is living in Spain. But what we don't know is how Spanish people feel about that. Now, of course, I can't speak for the entire country, not even close. But I can speak for one politician in Spain. This here is Arturo Villa, if I'm saying that correct, and this is his Instagram. You can see right there a picture of Amber. Now, this is all in Spanish, so I can't translate it personally, but we will take a look at one in English in just a second. Here you can see he posted up pictures of her and her toddler, which I'm not sure he thinks is exactly a very legit relationship, just like a lot of us speculated and I speculated before about possibly how now she's calling paparazzis like she used to do when she was with Johnny, but in this case to get pictures of her kid. Someone told me on Twitter that the photos look photoshopped and paparazzis didn't do that, but the point is she's working with them. She's calling them. So they're in cahoots. They probably both see the same photos, but that's my opinion. Can't totally prove it, but she's done it before. So that's why I have that opinion. And here's his Twitter account. By the way, he looks a bit right-leaning to me, just to throw that out there. So here's what he said in English about Amber. We should ask ourselves why a man abuser and convicted of false allegations like Amber Heard has chosen Spain, Madrid to move, change her name and start from scratch. And I don't think it's just because of the weather. We are the paradise of feminist violence. So what this person's saying is that there's a lot of violence that perhaps feminists cause in Madrid. Now, I'm far from there. I'm in Tokyo. I've only got the internet. I can't prove that. But I'm going to assume this person politically might be sticking up for some men's rights. Just like in the States, some people are sticking up for men and false allegations. That's what I get from this guy here. So naturally, he'd be suspicious of Amber. But the thing I like is he's in this position, in the government, and he's not scared to put his opinion on her, call her out, and highlight her. He could be wrong. He's not perfect because he's a politician. But I'd assume he has some kind of knowledge that the average person in Spain doesn't. And a few people here tagged me on it, so thank you guys for that. This person somewhat defends Amber and says, honestly, you shouldn't retweet something from a politician whose ideas you don't know. I'm from Spain, and this man's ideas goes against women. I guess they meant this man's ideas. His political party intends to take away women's rights after all we fought and they denigrate us. His ideals are quite prehistoric. Well, that might be. Not everybody who's defended Johnny I've agreed with politically. But this is one of those things where we meet in the middle and we keep in mind what's important. And what's important is this guy is probably correct in what he's saying in this specific case about Miss Mera. If he does some other things politically that aren't that great, well, that's too bad. It'd be nice if he didn't, and he was a better person who was more liked, if that's the case. But I'm not here to judge that. What I'm here to say is, yeah, we agree on this one. Good for him, brave man. Some other negativity about him I won't read. And here's one more he says. It's not completely clear. This is about Amber, but it's around the same time, and I'd assume so. I believe it is convenient to warn the men of Spain so that they be careful. There you go. I mean, you gotta figure if she's gonna look for a relationship out of the country might be the way to go. And it looks like this person here says, is this the one that S-H-I-T-S's on her husband's pillow? Right. All right. So, yeah, I guess they kind of know some of them. Or I should say, overseas, they know less details, but they know some details and enough details. Anyway, apologies, I don't have complete details on this person, but like I said, I'm agreeing with him surface level. I'm not taking a side on every little thing or unrelated things to Little Miss Mera. Let me know what you think in the comments. Doing shout outs, special thanks. 
things like that. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. Done here for now. See you next time.